a green tag sale. Clothing was 99 cents. The only thing I found was this um, soft linen shirt from H&M. Um, and it's long sleeve, so it's perfect for like those in between cooler weather that we're having. It's cute, 99 cents. Now let's go for the books. I found Lily this book called Graveyard Shakes. Um, it's one of those comic forms. I might read it just because and then give it to her. It looks really cute. Um, I found Joe Nesbo, The Redeemer. I have the other three, Inspector Harry Hole. Um, and I saw it and I was like, I know for a fact that I don't have that one. So there's that. I found the love poems of Elizabeth and Robert Browning. Um, it just looked, I mean, it's poetry. You can't go wrong with poetry. So, yeah. And there's like, So, Love Poems of Robert Browning and Love Poems of Elizabeth Barrett Browning. So, yeah. And it says, The story of Elizabeth Barrett and Robert Browning is one of unlikeliest love stories of literature. She was 39 and invalid when he stormed his way into her life over the protest of her tyrannical father. She was a well-known author. He was a promising but scarcely known poet. She came from a large family, was delicate, extremely introverted, and in perpetually bad health. He had one sibling, p p p possessed a robust constitution, and was a buoyant extrovert. Yes, everyone's poetry is a celebration of their unbroken devotion, compatibility, and passion. Then I found Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil by John Barrett. It just looked it interesting. Then I found Agatha Christie after the funeral. Um, I've never read anything by Agatha Christie. So I'm really interested. But this is a 1993 edition. So it's old. Then I found three Jennifer Cruz's books. This is contemporary romance. Um, and yeah, I just want to get into more like contemporary romances. This one is Charlie All Night. This one is Fast Woman. Winnie is talking and faking it i also found this one mother's day murder and it looks like it's like a cozy um mystery most cozy murder mysteries and then i also found carolyn sparks wild about you Jessica Scott, It's Always Been You, and Carly Phillips, Hot Property. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Interesting little book haul of books I never would have thought to pick up, but I did. And it's okay. We're stepping out of co our comfort. For 2022, we're going to be reading outside of my comfort. Because I feel like I got stuck in a thriller fantasy box. So, bursting out of it. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the flame. So, peace.